Hi, my name is Geeta Faust and I have a niche in real estate accounting and bookkeeping services. We offer a cleanup uh, of your QuickBooks files so you can make sense of your money. At the same time, we are also QuickBooks reseller as a QuickBooks solution provider. But today I'm going to bring you some news about QuickBooks 2022 and the release dates as well. So before we go to 2022, let's jump back to 2021. The Pro Premier Mac desktop versions are one time purchase only. So you can purchase it one time and it is good for three years where Intuit will support it and send you patches as well. 2021 comes with a time constraint as well. As I said, it is on one time purchase deal and it is offered from today till December 10, 2021. That would be your last date to buy. And then on top of it, it's going to be supported till May 2024. Again, remember QuickBooks 2021 Pro, Premier and Mac is one time purchase only. And the last day to purchase is December 10th, 2021. So if you need an additional user, it's time to buy those uh, additional user licenses so you don't have to worry about it next year. Again, 2021, the last day to purchase is December 10, 2021. 2022 is scheduled to be released on October 12, 2021, saying that the Pro Premier Mac versions in 2022 is going to be called a plus version and it is going to be on a subscription base. So no more one-time purchase from 2022 versions onwards. So you may say, you know what, even if I pay the subscriptions, what are my benefits? The benefits are you get the latest versions, you get the most updated features, you get the security patches, and you would need to use the 64-bit computer power. Along with that, you get unlimited customer support, data recovery if your file gets corrupted, as well as a mobile app. Again, 2022 versions are called the plus versions and are going to be on subscription based. So you will have to pay for it every year. The timeline, it will be available to purchase from September 28, 2021. And if you currently have the plus version and are going to renewal, then contact us for renewal pricing. We may have something for you. We are, as I mentioned, we are also resellers and we partner with accountants, CPAs and franchises and associations as well to bring member benefits to and businesses at large. QuickBooks Accountant version 2022 is available for one-time purchase and it will be supported till May 2025. Remember the three-year rule. You buy the desktop version, it is supported by Intuit for three years. Past those three years, it's not going to be supported. Of course, we as a consultant may be able to help you out as well. So decision-making time, and let's see if we can find a solution. As I mentioned, I have a niche in real estate. Me and my team help real estate clients from rentals to commercials, to residential, vacation, self-storage, syndication, you name it, not only with QuickBooks, but with Appfolio, Buildium, PropertyWare, PropertyPaws, and the list goes on as well to make sense of your numbers by each property. That is crucial, right? And your cash flow and your debt ratios and KPIs. Saying that, a lot of our clients have partnerships and different LLCs, uh, which they may have multiple EIN numbers. So the rule of thumb is each EIN number should have its own QuickBooks file. So the desktop version comes in really handy for that reason, because you buy it once and you can have millions of QuickBooks files, right? And uh, for one price. So 2021 is a good buy right now because for the next three years, you don't have to pay 
for the subscription, all right? Unless Intuit comes up with new features in 22, 23, 24, that you may say, well, let me get that version. At that point, of course, you will have to pay on annual basis. Um, and it would become a subscription model at that time. But if you say, no, Gita, you know what? Let me be on the safe side. Let me get 2022 and move forward. Many of our clients, to your surprise, do have multiple subscriptions for QuickBooks Online. Uh, one of my clients has 50 QuickBooks Online subscriptions for all his EINs. So you know what? It is a cost of business, accounting, bookkeeping, controllers, CFOs are a cost of your overhead business. So make a decision and your solution should be very simple. You know, you pay a subscription, annual subscription for each EIN number, or you buy one time annual subscription for all your files, that is 2022, or for three years, you say, you know what, I want to save some money, then buy 2021. Would you like help in making a decision? If so, don't hesitate to give me a call or send me an email and we will definitely get you on the right path. I'm looking forward to speaking to you soon.